Hello friends, George here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to try out a light pen for the Commodore Plus 4. This is this device here. It's from the company Trojan. And it comes with this box here. Trojan Catmaster light pen and graphics software. And it's from the year 1986, as far as I know. The software comes in two versions on cassette. We have the version for the Plus 4 with 64 kilobyte of RAM and the version for the Commodore 16, which has only 16 kilobyte bytes of RAM. And of course, the 16 the Commodore 16 uh, version has a little less features. This is the manual, very big and never forget your glasses or microscope when you read this. It uh, has two parts, the Commodore Plus 4 part and the Commodore 16 part. And what we are going to try out today is drawing a picture on the system inspired by my low poly render graphics. I will try to draw this here, this nice butterfly, and we will see how this will come out. After we have drawn this uh, picture, we will try to print it out on a Commodore MPS 803 printer. It's black and white and let's see how the result will be. So stay tuned and let's dive in and have a little fun. So friends, after taking off the cover here and adjusting the brightness, contrast and color, I was able to get the stick working. So if I choose the colors here, I hope you can see this. I hold the stick in this way that you can doesn't work always and that's the major drawback first I will blend in a video which I did yesterday where I show some uh, basic functions of the program the Tro Trojan light pen cat program from the year 1986 plus 4 version 1.1.0 uh, and then we will go to draw this butterfly here which I drew yesterday, I can show it. Hopefully I can load it. So. so it takes its time. Hopefully it loads. Well, yes. So let's see. Let's see, look. Here it is, our butterfly. Very nice. I'm very happy that I could save his work. It took me about an hour or so and I'm actually, let's see, actually comes close. So here I am again. So I had to adjust the contrast and the brightness in order to get this here working. So let's draw a box. I can select this here. And now I will 
position my pen onto the screen and press the control key and hopefully get the point. This point I can adjust with my cursor keys here. So this is the right, uh, the left upper point and now to the right bottom point. I will set it here and hopefully, yes, it works. So let's go to the menu again and press the spacebar and draw a circle. So that's uh, very sensitive. So now I position my center point, and press control and hope it's adjust the point a little. And now I will draw a radius. Nope, just to Okay, that was the little things. Let's do it again. Here. Oh, yes. Now position it a little more to the middle. And now let's do it here. Yes. A nice circle. So let's do something different a triangle. So I will put a first point here, a second point here, a third point here, and I have a nice triangle. So another option is to fill the objects. Let's go with, I don't know, solid. Let's do a solid, solid a little bit boring. Let's do break. Never tried this. So I put it here and I think it needs two dots. And now it's cal it calculates. And we have a nice shape in the design of a brick wall. That's very cool. Now let's change the color. So let's take pen 2 and we will go for a nice green. A nice green here. Come on. Yes. So, and I will make this here board, I don't know what this is. We'll see now. Calculates. Hey, checkerboard. Very cool. Okay, let's try another. Let's take this color here. Looks like blue. Come on, baby. Okay. And fill it with, I don't know, what's this mesh? Okay. Calculate. And we have a nice mesh pattern. Isn't that great? Very cool. Oh, let us try another thing. You can also draw lines. Okay, you can, you can try this. Let's draw here a nice line. Maybe here. Control. And maybe here. And there you have your line. So another trick is free style. Okay, where I have, I think that's this here. So that's a little tricky. I don't know if I get it at the first try. 
but we will I will draw a shape around the circle. So maybe so I press control. Yes, and now I have to slowly slowly yes. you can see it's a little tricky. You have to be very slow and consistent. In order to work, and I have to keep this pen tip into this flashing square here, yeah? which is not easy. Well, it doesn't work as I want. Okay. But I think you get the idea. So let us stop us. Like a nose with a... I don't know what this is, a piercing or something like that. Great art. I'm quite of quite impressed, I must say. So you have also the uh, option to write text. So what as I will choose uppercase graphics. Oh, let's do it too. Let's write something. Hello. No, CT. X. Okay. Okay. So I, I think you get the idea. So let us make our experiment. So I will try to draw this here. And let us see if I succeed. So let's do it again. So we will go to the menu and make a new picture. So I have to be very precise here. Yes. So. So let's uh, pen one, we will select white and now we select the line and we will try to recreate the butterfly. So how this works is as following. Let's say the first point do it with my eye. Let's say our first point is here and I press the control key and I can I set one point and this point can be adjusted. Okay, it's by the eye. So this must be the, yes, let's say here. So, so now I set the second point, let's say here, I press the control key and I have a line, adjust it, can I adjust the line and now I have my first, maybe a little longer, so I have my first line, I press control and the line is set, so now the second line, We'll go this here. So this was too far. Okay, and set. This didn't work. Okay, I will set the line here. And the second line about doesn't matter where you set the second line because you can always correct it. So let's do it here. Okay. Control. 
And now we go for the yes, correct. So we have drawn the middle part of the butterfly. So let's go over to its antennas. I will draw the point here. And the upper point about here. Doesn't matter. Okay. I think that's as high I can go. Yes, that's the problem. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's set another point here. We adjust the point a little per eye. Let's say here. And I will put the other point up. Very far away. like this so Okay, and now we can fill, we choose the right color, orange, and fill, we try the solid color, and hopefully it will fill our half of the body. Do the same with the left antenna, and it worked. So now let's go over to the wings. First I have to choose the right color here. Go to line. Okay. So we set the first point. Let's do it here. And the second point is about here. Yes. And we will put the middle point to the mid. Okay, about here, a little lower. OK. 
okay and connect it to our rest to the rest of our butterfly okay yep I'm happy with this so let's go to the other point let's set first a point here okay and now about here See if I can get it right. Okay. Now the other point about here. A little lower. So it's about in the middle and a little lower. Like this. I would say. Yes. So let's fill the triangles. We will take this here, kind of Barbie. I don't know what the color in English is. This light red, pink, it's pink. So fill. Let's do it. No, let's let's do it dotted. Ah, very nice. We will go through all the patterns. But maybe I should first draw the outlines and then fill the lines, fill the, uh, the planes. I think that's a good idea. So let's set the other point, go back to line and we select the right color, white. You can see if it's selected, if the square gets red. Go to line again. So this is very far at the right, almost at this height. So it will go like this here. Let's see if I can. Yes. It's almost. Yes, it's very left. And okay, I will go with this angle. I have to okay. So this is very far the field. Okay, let's go. I think almost at the upper left corner Yes. 
looks okay. So a little higher at this point here and a little more left at this from this point. Okay, a little higher than this point, and a little more right than this point. Let's go for this here. Okay, more like this, and more like this. Okay, I'm happy with this so far. So, if there is no accident happening in the future I think we can pull this off let's put the point somewhere okay. you can see that the uh, points are not that the uh, uh, light pen does not work always that's I think it's the major reasons why they never really took off okay so a few left and then we are finished so let's go for this point here it's a little more right than this point and I think Here's the angle. Okay. Now take the this point. This is straight vertical to the bottom. It's also very easy. Now let's put the point at the top first so that I can adjust the line so this is very slow okay so we will put the line at the bottom uh, we will put the second point of the line at the bottom so it as it goes yes like so and vertical so let's connect the points And the same with this side here. If you get the light pen working, it's quite easy. But to get at this point, you have to get some experience with it. It's definitely not a pointing device which I would recommend for daily use. Can be very frustrating. As you can see here, it does not work always. Why I don't know. Oh man. So let's try it again. Okay, maybe I have to adjust the brightness again or the contrast. Who knows? Okay, I've put it here. 
and let's travel it. To the place I need it. So I'm about this here. And a little more left. So let's do it. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. Let's begin at the middle. Yes, I've set the point. And we will go try. Oh man. So it looks like the edge, the outer parts, have trouble. Uh, a little more difficult to. get it work with a light pen. Okay, it's a little bit off, a little smaller, um, bigger than the left side, but okay. Who cares? So let's do the other thing here. So I'm going to draw this, this point. It's about here, I would say, about maybe here. Yeah, it's about here. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's okay. Measurement with the naked eye. So let's connect the points. That's okay. And this luckily worked at the first try. Let's set a point here. Hmm. Not to the left. And worked. Very happy. So now we connect this with this here. And when we have drawn all the triangles we need, we will fill out the butterfly. So we have the first issues here with this computer in general. The, the effect is called color clash. Here you can see it. Uh, the thing is that on this computer, um, the amount of colors that you can use in an 8x8 tile, you can uh, imagine this here like the screen is uh, put together of 8x8 pixel tiles. Oh, this is uh, 320. Um, pixels, but I think we are in multicolor mode, so these are 106 pixels and these are 200 pixels. So the whole screen is divided in 8x8 pixel tiles, and in every 8x8 pixel tile, you are allowed to have only four colors with some other restrictions, which, which I won't explain here. And if you have the case that you that more than four colors are used here, then you get this color clash. This is white, I think. Yes, looks a little bluish, but we use white and black. We have bl white, black and uh, orange. And the thing is that because we use only pen one and don't use pen two or three 
there we get the color clash. So, now the, la the last part. So it's about a little more than the half here. So let's go like this here. Put it to the bottom, a little more than the half. I would say here is okay. Let's put it here. Okay. Okay, so the same here, a little more than the half at the bottom. It's more left than this, more right, more left than this point here. As I said, I'll do it with a naked eye. So let's see more there. More put it more here. Okay. So okay. Looks good. And our last point. It is very happy that we got so far without any crashes or something like this. So we can do following. So we fill out the uh, rest of the body, especially the uh, uh, especially the uh, wings. So let's go to fill and we will fill this year with solid color like this year. But this time I will choose another pen to avoid color clashes. So let's see if I can go out here. So again, let's choose pen two this time. And this is the reason why we have these uh, different pens, not only to store the colors, but only to avoid color clashes. And I'm sure that if I choose the second pen, we will avoid the second color clash. So let's, I won't use the brightness uh, of the colors this time. Okay, it's, uh, let's take this here. to fill and we will make I think I chose the vertically but we will see no I don't I don't want vertically I want I want to fill a solid color first so let's see if this works Yep. No, and this time we have avoided the color clash because we use the second pen, which is in effect uh, the second color source. And depending on what color source you use, you can avoid, you can um, exploit the uh, the characteristics of this graphic mode here which is a little complicated to explain now. Uh, maybe I will make a separate video to it. But uh, choosing other color sources, you can avoid the color clashes. Uh, this is the uh, general rule. So, solid here, solid there. Now we try this this color here, this is a kind of blue. Okay, we will show this here. 
and we will try the next fill pattern. Let's go with horizontal. Nice. There's something organic about it. Nice. So let's do this vertical. Then orange. Let me choose this here. Okay. Very nice. Now we choose, let's say, this, let's say this here, green. It has a full green. No, vertical. We do this with grid. horizontal and vertical grid. I wish I, have, I would have chosen a more solid color here, but okay. So next here we will choose yellow and grid dotted. Let's Take your board. Hope I've chosen the right one here. Yeah. Okay, I think I made a mistake, but we have the race function. So, fill, which was board. Yes, checkerboard. Very nice. So, these two parts are left red and blue. So, red. This is the red I need and blue and we will fill it with hmm. that's the brick thing. No, not so not again. Not again, not again. Okay, I hope I can undo this. the checker the brick board uh, pattern okay so that's the test of the undo function and I think it did it I'm impressed I must say 
So, hope. Yes, very nice. Very nice. And now the last part, blue, light blue. I think I will go with, let's take this here. Her pattern and we will take the waves. Okay, let's try this here. Nice. So friends, there we have it, our nice butterfly. Drawing. Oh, okay. Let's see it. Let's see. This is the original and this is the drawn version on the Commodore Plus 4. So let's save it to preserve it for the later generations disk and cat bfl2 so So what we can do next is to print the uh, butterfly and make sure you are using an MPS 181, or 1000 or equivalent printer. Also make sure that paper is loaded into the printer and that the power is on. Print return, hold the space down to abort printing. So I have an 80 three printer, uh, one, uh, 803 MPS printer. So what we will try next is to print this butterfly. Uh, let me go to look. On an MPS 803 printer. So stay tuned. So we have a piece of paper. We open the printer. Yeah, like this. Here you have it. Commodore. 803 and carefully slide it in. adjust it a little so usually if I remember right let's, let's see okay so let's power the print down and let's see what happens Maybe it will not work the first time, but we will see. So printer. Print.
So friends, that's it. Here is our butterfly. I hope you can see it on the video. Well, it's black and white and the colors are dithered out. And if we compare it to our original, it's about the same size, I would say. Maybe, yes. Let's hold it other way that you can see it. It's about the same size. That's very nice, like a copy. And compared to the uh, screen version, you can see we lost the. I hope, I hope you can see it. We lost the uh, grid pattern here, the vertical, because it uh, the printer has dithered it out. The checker. Uh, pattern is kind of a little pale, not very good visible. We have the uh, wave lines, very good. The dot lines are like a diagonal pattern. The solid color is divot. It has a, it has a lightly, uh, maybe here, you can see it lightly slightly different dealer than the other so that you can distinguish the colors but what disappointed me is that it printed out the black i should have known it beforehand but i didn't uh, i have forgotten it this has had to be white so that we don't have this black uh, background but anyway i have to buy an, an, a new ribbon cable and uh, a new ribbon uh, cartridge so this doesn't matter so much I think for the first try on these old machines this is a very good result it needs a little more fine tuning okay let's do it this year and this year so we have that we have all three versions on one side very nice so friends that's it for today i think this was a really fun episode and i really enjoyed making it we tried out a light pen with a commodore plus four we drew a butterfly on screen and then we even printed it out on a and a Commodore dot matrix printer MPS 103 and this is the, re the result which uh, is quite okay for the first try so I want to thank everybody who watches my videos and who comments them and who likes them and even subscribes them and if you want to support the channel there is a possibility to buy me a coffee i put a link at the upper right and um, what uh, can i say for the end i wish you a nice day or a nice evening depending where you live and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye